Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. So today we're doing some outside cleaning motivation today just to get you guys outdoors and also hope you guys enjoy this video um, my name is brandy if you are new here i like to do cleaning motivation here on my, this channel to give you guys that motivation to do something around your house i know a lot of people struggle with getting stuff done so i hope this video can do it for you and i'm starting off by changing out a flag here we had just a west virginia flag i wanted to change it for this cute little fall flag that had puppies all over it that i love um, so what I'm doing today is I'm going through my flower bed and just doing some weeding. I needed to get out some weeds that had been in there for a while now because I've been kind of neglecting the flower bed. So I wanted to get these weeds pulled and then we're also going to pull up one of my trees down by the shed because it completely died. It was a little blue spruce tree and I'm not really sure if something ate it or if the sun got to it and it just dried out and died. I don't really know. The other one is still alive because we had two of them, but I don't know if it's going to live or die. So I don't know, <laughs> but I wanted to just get rid of it because it was completely brown and it was not coming back to life. I can tell you guys that. So yeah, I hope that you guys are having a good day. Um, I'm going to post this video for you guys tomorrow. Today is Wednesday as I'm currently doing this voiceover. I am ahead of my game this week and I've been loving it. Let me just say I'm about to post a new vlog for you guys. Today and I'm actually going to vlog again this evening, which never happens. I never vlog twice in one day, but I am going to start up another vlog. I'm just in the mood to vlog and I like when I get in the mood to do videos. It makes it so much more enjoyable than sometimes I'm just not in the mood to do that. But I'm going to try maybe to post or like at least get ahead with some videos because it's just going to make it so much easier and also you just never know what's going to happen. My husband has been sick. Uh, since Sunday and it's now Wednesday he is starting to feel a little bit better but he had fluid on his ears and he went to the doctor again today got some new medication and stuff so hopefully and he also got allergy meds so hopefully he will be feeling better in a couple days he's been really really sick so um, yeah I'm gonna just work down here at the shed and get these weeds these this bush down here was completely dead as you can see but it was actually coming back to life because you can see the green that was coming up through there but down here i have a really hard time keeping plants alive i actually a few videos back in the spring i think i planted some bulbs down here that my grandma gave me and she told me that they will come up in the springtime so we will see if they actually will or not I don't really know, but I planted them here, so I guess we'll see if anything comes up. But the trick, the problem is, is that I can't really keep everything looking nice. Is because it doesn't get enough water. So that's like my biggest issue that I have with plants is they don't get enough water. And we need like a sprinkler or something down here that's that we could use maybe to water everything. I don't know. Let me know if you guys have any tips on watering flowers or anything to make it a lot easier because I know it's one of my things that I'm a little bit lazy about. So um, that's why all my stuff dies. <laughs> but anyways, also the deer like to come along and eat everything. I'll say that too. But um, we're going to move into the shed and what we're finally getting rid of the yard sale stuff. Thank God. I was just could not wait to get this stuff out of here. We normally have a yard sale in May and it's now September, so it was definitely pushed uh, pushed back or whatever than what we normally had it. So, um, but that's okay. It didn't really matter. I just wanted to get all this crap out of my shed <laughs> and I was so happy once I did. We're also going to sweep the shed out because it was pretty dirty. Um, the lawnmower just drags a lot of dust and dirt inside, so I wanted to get that cleaned up as well. Um, I got a quick question for you guys though. This is so random, but as I'm doing this voiceover, I'm sitting here at my desk freezing to death because of my central air that is blowing right up my legs and I have shorts on today, but I have it set at 72 in the house today. What do you guys set your temperature at in your house? Like what is most comfortable for you? For me, I freeze to death when I'm sitting around in the house and I'm not doing anything. So I think I just have like a circulation problem or something because I get cold when I'm just sitting around. Another reason why I don't like winter is because I really get cold now. 
Um, but let me know what you guys set your temperature at. I know that's so random, but I want to know. Uh, my husband gets hot a lot, so when we go to bed at night, our temperature goes down to like 70 in the house, and it's even been at 69 before, which I have to pile a bunch of blankets on top of me. I mean, I sleep good, but it's so cold in the house. Um, anyways, I don't know. And then in the winter time, I freeze even more and I think we set the temperature at 70 most of the time and I'm freezing guys. Ugh, yeah. So I hope it doesn't get that cold this year, but I guess we'll see. Um, let me know how the temperature is where you guys live too. Also, do you guys have any fall festivities coming up that you like to do this time of the year? I know festivals are starting up. Pumpkin patches will be starting. I love that kind of stuff. So I definitely want to at least go to one or two because I just love getting out of the house and um, checking that kind of stuff out. I love buying just, I don't know, the festival food even is always so freaking good. It's expensive, but it's so good. And it's just something nice to do on a nice fall day to get out of the house for a while. So let me know if you guys have that kind of stuff where you live and what you guys look forward to doing this time of the year. I'm also looking forward to going and watching the new Beetlejuice movie with my friends um, here hopefully soon. And I cannot wait to see that movie. Let me know if you guys have seen it. Don't spoil anything, but I am so excited to watch that Beetlejuice uh, the first one, anyways, was one of my top favorite movies. I do love it, um, especially this time of the year. So I'm definitely excited to see the sequel. I know it won't be like the first one. It'll probably be way different, but I'm still excited because it has some of the same actors in it. And I love when they keep the same people. So, yeah, that was just a little overview of all the stuff that I was getting rid of. And then I actually found a bag inside the house that I wanted to get rid of as well. So just a ton of stuff every year I feel like I didn't have a whole lot of stuff for the yard sale but I did have enough you know that I accumulate to get rid of every year I don't even know how that stuff accumulates let me know if you guys can relate to that but I had a lot of just like stuff that I guess I always find stuff in my house and I'm like why am I keeping this I don't need it it needs to go um so yeah, I'm gonna, like I said, sweep. You guys see all this dirt that I'm sweeping out of this shed. I just swept this shed not that long ago, and this is how much dirt that's already in it. Um, I don't know where it all comes from, but it just like accumulates in here so bad. And a lot of it, like I said, is from this lawnmower, and then from like the weed eater, and just, I don't know. That's the only thing I can figure, because we did get doors built on the front of it. It's not 100% sealed up, but for the most part, I don't know what is causing all this dirt other than the lawnmower, I guess. But yeah, I'm going to clean up a little bit in here and get it all nice and clean and just let you guys listen to some music for a little bit.
looks a lot better. We got rid of all the yard sale stuff. And why does it still look like I have too much? Look at all those totes. That's all seasonal decor, y'all. And there's some other stuff, I guess, that we were just kind of hanging on to that's like old. Some old picture stuff and just from years ago. But it's mainly seasonal stuff. Like all the holidays that I decorate for. Um, these shelves here, guys. I don't know. Maybe somebody can leave me a comment. But this is what the back of them. I'm going to ask my dad because my dad's coming up in a little bit. But they look kind of complicated to hang. I don't really know how they even work. But I was going to paint them and hang them up maybe in Cole's room. Was my plan. But... I gotta wait and see how they hang. Um, we got our mattress in here we're keeping for my bed. It's a king size. Um, I don't really want to get rid of it just for the fact that I didn't know how the bed that I got was going to hold up. But so far, guys, that bed's been holding up really well. And I really like it because it's firm. And I realize that I really like a firm mattress. This one here is more like a soft pillow type mattress and i don't know i really have been enjoying the firm one right now it's definitely not as thick as this mattress um but and it also didn't cost a lot of money either which i know some people probably be kind of turned off by that thinking it wouldn't hold up in the long run but that's why i'm hanging on to this <laughs> to make sure it's gonna hold up but yeah that i got it swept out good enough mainly the lawnmower is what brings in all that dirt but it looks a lot better so my parents are gonna come and help me load all this stuff up and we're going to take it down to the garage where they're having the yard sale and i'm glad that that's done that wasn't actually on my list to do today and all this stuff it needs fixed up a little bit it's just kind of chaotic looking but for the most part it's all of our stuff junk that we probably don't need all this stuff over here is my husband's stuff mainly and then some potting soil down there i wanted to let you guys know that here in probably a week i definitely don't want to wait too long because I look awful today. Oh my gosh. But I don't want to wait too long to do it this year because last year I waited a little too long to decorate my front porch. Um, I think I just waited a little bit too late. And I didn't like how I waited so late because it's, we've actually been having really cold nights. We had a frost warning last night. I want to get mums for my porch. Me and my husband plan to clean the porches um, when he's feeling better. Obviously, he's still really sick today. I wanted to give you guys a quick update on my husband. But by the time you see this video, he might be feeling better. I don't know. But anyway, I'll let you know in the voiceover part of this video if he's feeling better. But as today, as I'm filming, he's still sick. So, um... When he starts feeling better, we're going to go buy some mums. And then we will I have this whole little container here full of fall stuff for the front porch. And then my mom got me, I think, a Halloween sign up there that I'm gonna just probably put up on my porch. I'll probably do that all together if I have, you know, whatever I have. And then I also have like a wreath. So we'll do the front porch decorating. I wanted to let you guys know that we're gonna do that soon. We're probably gonna do it next week because I don't wanna wait any later to do it. So next week, we'll probably do that. Um, I don't know if we'll get to it this week. I really would like to, but I don't think we're gonna get to it this week. So we're gonna plan on next week. So you guys will be seeing that video very soon. But I love doing, you guys know I like decorating. But I also, our porch railings, last year we didn't get to scrub them down. Um, so they're kind of getting like this black specks. And I think it's mold, but I'm not 100% what it is. But it needs scrub by hand. Because last year we didn't do that. We just used a pressure washer. And the pressure washer might bring it off, but I don't know. I think my husband suggested that we do like a bleach wipe down. And I know not everybody likes bleach. But bleach takes care of a lot of that kind of stuff. Um, at least a little bit. And then we're going to wear gloves if we do use a little bit of bleach. I don't know yet what we're going to do. But it would make our rails probably a lot whiter. But we'll see. The pressure washer might be able to take care of that on its own. Don't know. But we'll be doing that in another video. So um, I really want to clean out the truck today. And I think that's going to be the end of this video. So um, I'm going to bring the truck down here. And then my mom, I think, or my dad was going to come up and help load. I might just get all the stuff on the truck except for the desk. I kind of need help loading that. I don't think I can do it by myself. So I, uh, 
Definitely still want to get the truck cleaned out though today for this video. So yeah, hope you guys have gotten some outdoor motivation so far and let's get back to it. I was a little bummed out because I actually had a really satisfying clip of me sweeping all this dirt out of the back of the truck and then the wind as you guys can see the trees the wind was blowing on this day the wind took my camera and like knocked it over and then I lost that footage because my camera like blacked out or whatever where it shut off and if anytime something happens to my camera like that I lose the footage that I was filming before so I didn't get that footage for you guys but it would have been satisfying because there was a lot of dirt that I swept out of the back of this truck but anyways stuff like that happens a lot being a uh a video person like filmmaker whatever you want to call me I don't know video maker but a lot of that kind of stuff happens all the time where I'll like lose footage and I don't know it's like I said it just my camera is really weird sometimes like if it just shuts off for some reason and if it gets overheated even um, which happens if it's in direct sun if it's too hot outside I'll lose footage most of the time if the battery dies if, as long as I don't mess with it while it's shutting off with the battery going dead, nothing happens. But I don't know. It's just a very weird thing that happens to me. So I have to, like I said, the camera just like flew. It just like flew over. And luckily it didn't break or anything because I want to tell you guys, I don't feel like trying to invest in another camera anytime soon. So I hope this one lasts me for a while because cameras are expensive and, um, I really like this camera for the most part. this is halfway embarrassing of me trying to saw this tree and on camera the tree doesn't look like it's very thick but it actually kind of is for this electric saw it just was not working so I need to have my brother or my dad come up and help me get this thing cleaned up but there's a lot of dead trees on the other side of the fence that I want cut down because I'm obviously it's a safety hazard and I'm so worried about something falling on especially coal like I'm just so scared about that so I want to get that taken care of and I hope that the neighbor um will like do something because there's so many dead ones that I know they're gonna fall one day and I just ugh, it's like I don't even want to risk it you know like something happening so I need to get somebody to take care of that and even if we have to pay money to have it done I'm definitely gonna do that Maybe it would. It's good for like smaller branches and stuff, but not this baby. The last thing that we're going to do in today's video is clean out my husband's disgusting truck. It was really bad and I didn't even show you guys like how. I mean, I showed a little bit, but it was so much worse in person. Like there was dog hair everywhere in the front of the car and Otis only rides on this side in the back of the truck but I mean his hair from going to town with the windows down I mean it flies everywhere and it ends up up front um it's just so bad I don't know if there's any tips that you guys have for your dog riding in a vehicle to not get hair everywhere let me know but we did actually buy a new seat cover that I'm going to install when we get done cleaning here um because this one actually ripped otis's toenails i think ripped the bottom of it of course it ain't really made for much i bought it at tj maxx and it was like 15 bucks and the new one that i bought was only 10 bucks so i doubt that it's even gonna last i probably should invest in something a little bit more thicker but it was also not quite as long as the other one so you guys will see me trying to put it on and it just doesn't fit right but it's longer at the bottom this time, so I actually think it'll help protect the floor a little bit from the hair. But yeah, this little dash had trash, 
there was actually dog hair inside of this thing here where um, I keep my sunglasses in there, but the truck was awful today and I just needed to get this done. Uh, me and my husband have our 10 year anniversary next weekend and we're so excited. Um, because we're actually going to get a little parents day away and night away and we haven't had a night away since May and we are so excited to go do that and celebrate our 10 year anniversary and I know it's going to be a fun and good time. I'll definitely take my camera and vlog for you guys so be sure to follow me over on the vlog channel. It's linked down below if you want to check out some of my vlogs but we also do some cleaning motivation over there as well and some cooking um, day in the lives, that kind of thing, if it interests you. But I'm using the mother's cleaner in this video. And I actually don't know where my husband got this from, but this isn't the kind that Kelly, uh, Kelly's Corner here on YouTube. And I know a lot of you guys probably already know Kelly, but I love Kelly. She is such an inspiration here on YouTube and she has a lot of followers. So you guys probably already know who she is, but she talked about using the mother's cleaner to clean out her car and I think she had to order hers and it had like a cherry scent or something. This one doesn't have that scent so this one doesn't really smell the best but I will say that it did do a really good job cleaning and it left a nice shine on the truck and stuff but I would like to get that one that smells really good like she uses because she says it is amazing and it does a really good job but I saw you could order it off Amazon so let me know if you guys have ever used that or what do you use to clean out your car let me know what kind of spray you like to use I go back and forth sometimes I'll do like the whole hot water bucket and you know Mr. Cleaner Pines all thing just to give everything a nice smell Sometimes I'll just use vinegar water because it's quick and easy. And then sometimes I'll use like armor all. I've used all kinds of different stuff to be honest with you guys to clean out the car. But when we get done, I'm going to wipe the inside of these windows. We did not obviously clean the outside of the truck and all of our vehicles are super dusty and dirty and they all need washed. But that didn't happen in today's video. But I hope you guys got some motivation on this video and enjoyed it today. And I will see you guys on Sunday for a new video. I'm not even 100% sure what we are doing on Sunday because I haven't filmed for that video yet. And I have no idea what I want to do. Um, I got stuff that I want to do. But since my husband's been sick, I am not able to like do any makeover stuff yet. Um, I don't know. I normally do the painting and stuff myself, but we haven't been anywhere to get any paint. And Lowe's is kind of far away from here, so I've just been kind of holding off a little bit before we get into that stuff. But I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in Sunday's video. Bye, guys.